Welcome Galactic Family. Dear ones, as always, we are with you and our connection to you all is getting stronger. By stronger we mean that, although they have always felt lately, their connection with us is a constant. So we suggest to everyone that let go in a way that you have never done before. More and more, you are becoming us. Perhaps you are not us in frequency, for we resonate to the fifth dimension and far beyond, but with your heart space. In other words, you are learning slash remembering how to completely open your heart to our feel in a way that you have never done before. Why this? We heard you ask. Our answer is to ask you to go within your US to find your own answer. You can begin this interdimensional communication with us, the Arcturians, taking long, slow, deep breaths by focusing your attention on your Kundalini energy that resides and activates all your chakras. Make sure that your spine is aligned so that your Kundalini can move from the base of the spine, chakra to chakra. In this way, your inner light can flow more easily from your spine because it lights up the fifth dimensional potential that is latent in each of your chakras. This inner light was always there, but it was in a latent state. Therefore, you have not been able to perceive it consciously until your consciousness corresponds to the fifth dimensional frequency of your inner light. You see, when your innate fifth dimensional you has decided to leave your ship or your home world and take a third dimensional shape in the body of Gaia, you knew that the third dimensional earth was not ready for the light of the fifth dimension yet. So you had to hide your light in the core of your third dimensional earthly body, just as Mother Gaia had to hide her light in the core of her planetary body. As their personal and planetary lights hid in their personal and planetary nuclei, they strengthened their personal and planetary bodies that were exposed to the third dimensional versions of reality. All of you have come to Gaia this now for two very important reasons, which are to protect Gaia from the evil intentions of the lost, dark people and to help Gaia with his planetary ascent. Since humanity is made of the same elements, earth, air, fire, water and just as Gaia, humans and planet are connected through these elements, always active and fast transmutation. The elements are very similar to the ingredients of a cake. If you use sour milk, rotten eggs, and contaminated flour, the cake will not look good, mix or work as one to grow. You can use your imagination to determine the result of spoiled milk, or flour with small insects. You, dear humanity, were forced to eat rotten cake because you could not look inside to see the ingredients of your body and your life. In the same way, many of you could not, or did not choose, to search within to see if the ingredients of your earthly body were pure and healthy. So many humans suffer because they have not looked inside to find traumatic events, destructive habits, deep feelings or any unconscious thoughts and emotions. If your heart is broken, uninformed or sick and your mind is stunned and confused, your life will crumble from the inside out. Therefore, dear Earth citizens, especially those on the way, we want to remind you that our higher expressions are always with you. Your higher self is your fifth dimensional expression and beyond. Therefore, your higher self does not have to deal with the many challenges and difficulties of life in the physical world. However, when a disaster occurs in your life, you can call your auto superior to get the direction and courage that is needed to make your way through difficult challenges. Those of you who have been on the path of storms and hurricanes should be greatly praised for the courage and camaraderie you have encountered in your connection to your personal love and courage as well as all the communications you have experienced with your T.O.P. self. The United States should be the flashpoint for the planetary rise. Therefore, 
This area of Gaia's body is currently living in the great initiations of immense fear and total loss. This fear and loss have been transmuted bravely into unconditional love for a lifetime, deep camaraderie and immense courage. Some, in fact, many of you are silently holding and healing this tragedy within your own physical terrestrial bodies. Most of you may not be aware of this fact, but if you feel exhausted, sad and tired, it may be because your body, your consciousness, helped Gaia as well as the people and animals in those devastated places. In fact, there are people all over the world who are helping the earth, its plants, its animals and humans. If you could see what we, your galactic family, can perceive, you would be very proud to be human. Also, most of you are wondering how this disaster happened, since none of you want these horrible storms to be recreated. Yes, climate creations can be explained by science. So we want to remind you that there is much more to this event than science. However, an important event that has occurred from these disasters is that there has been immense unity consciousness and unconditional love. We, the members of your galactic family, praise with a great love, the members of humanity. You have helped and provided physical and psychic assistance to your neighbor by sending unconditional love and deep support to those within the storm zone. When the storms are finally over, there will be more and more opportunities to help people in the planet. We, the members of your galactic family, welcome many wounded and animals into our ships to assist them with their physical and emotional healing. Some of you may have had a dream about it or you may remember the experience. We invite ALL of you to come our ships during your night rest and slash or meditations to help those who came the ships to heal and seek comfort. Blessings to you all. The Arcturians